Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising Weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading <clears throat> for September 24 to September 30th 2018 and while I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to remind you once again that this is a general reading for the Virgo star sign this is not your personal reading therefore uh, I will explain you the cards in the in their representative positions I will make the synergy in between them but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation if you want me to do that for you then this is a matter of a personal reading and such can be purchased at my website written down below in the description of this video and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and as it is at the summer end uh, there is a summer end sale going on uh, which adds 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minutes sale which makes it in total of 14 minutes that being said going to the uh, tarot spread first this is going to be a four card tarot spread now the first card re regards to the core of the situation for Virgo the second card is about the um, no, the first card, excuse me, it's about the uh, topic of the week. The second one, it's about the core of the situation. The third one, it's, it regards to the challenges Virgo has to take or to kind of tackle with. And then the last one, it's uh, the guidance the Tarot is offering to you, Virgos. Then now the first card, that will be the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups, it's a very... Um, broad card when we talk about uh, the Eight of Cups in the position of a topic. Now the Eight of Cups resembles uh, moving on, you know, uh, walking away from these cups. As you can see the, the guy is walking away from these cups here which represents in, in that particular scene a, a sign of misfortune. <clears throat> so that card could uh, reflect or kind of uh, ca can manifest, excuse me, as a um, a moving on, a moving on from a, a poignant experience, but in the same time knowing that the future has more to offer, and that is kind of true. Now this card points that even if the situation is not satisfiable at this very moment, a, a new perspective is awaiting for you further into the future. Therefore, it does look like that the topic here in this week asks you to let go of those activities, undertakings and situations in your life which are making you despondent, which are creating poignancy into your environment, which generally makes you feel ill, makes you feel bad and kind of deprive you from happiness. Also this card points that it is likely people or souls which have lost their way this particular week, that is the positive meaning of the Eight of Cups, are going to find their way once again. So if you have lost faith that you are going to find love again, you know, or if you have lost faith that you are going to find a suitable job, that faith will be restored for the duration of this week or in the duration of this week. That doesn't mean that you are going to find that job or, or love, but something is going to make you believe uh, that this is going to happen inevitably. And the core of the situation is the Four of Pentacles. So this card points that your life is kind of taking a turn for greater here because the Four of Pentacles points that you are going to establish a certain patterns or you had established a certain patterns in your life and now you are placing yourself into a more comfortable position, more comfortable situation than you had before. So that look like here um, this uh, this finding your path here or knowing that the best is yet to come is a result of that you have worked hard to establish a, a solid foundation beneath your feet as you can see here in this picture. Now the negative point of the Four of Pentacles is that you may take a little bit more defensive position to the exterior, to the outer world of your domain which kind of um, <clears throat> make you more resilient to the outsiders you know to try to make a contact with you which depraves you from uh, getting uh, getting new people in your life uh, with uh, you know 
with the idea of making romantic relationship for example if you are seeking one but in the same time you're going to build up a, a strong criteria as what is going to be the next partner in your life etc etc so this card comes with uh, positive positives and negatives but the very least it does point that you're going to stabilize your life around a, a certain zone of comfort and that zone of comfort is going to give you the uh, the belief or kind of like the faith that the best is yet to come so whatever you're working at Virgos I do suggest you to keep on going because it, it it will work out for you and it will turn your life for the better as uh, as displayed here in these cards as a matter of fact as a synergy the more comfortable you establish yourself in this week into your career into your relationship the greater the the more positive this perspective which is what awaiting for you into the near future will be and then the next card it is a about the challenges that you have to overcome we do have the judgment so the judgment here um it's it's a very different from its um trivial meaning and the trivial meaning is the wake-up call here the judgment points that you have to exert a, a new way of thinking and that is going to be the difficulty um <clears throat> face uh, the difficulty you have to face in this particular week why because as we said you know you need to have the belief that the best is yet to come and that involves a, a different thinking and in some cases uh, people will kind of like a swift uh, switch excuse me switch or shift priorities for example if a certain person were a priority for you as a person of interest maybe you have to change the way you think and maybe you have to change the person of your priority all right so it's kind of like here um, this card points it's kind of difficult to explain it but this card points that you have to maybe change your aims and by changing your aims you are going to place yourself into a more comfortable zone so in this reading here guys excuse me for my foul language but at this reading points that if you push it is going to be shit so you have to go with the current rather go against the current what i like to say is that going against the current only makes you struggle going with the current it is um, making you uh, kind of like uh, coping with the undertakings with much more ease than um, than usual and it is exactly what you have to do here whatever doesn't work out cut ties with it you know walk away from it and find something for yourself or rather attend to whatever works in your life and then the next card the last one points to the guidance here so we do have the king of wands and this card points that you need to maintain your positive attitude what we said that things may not work out the way you anticipated here with the uh, eight of cups that doesn't mean that they are not going to work out at all it is just as i said you need to have a, a different way of thinking you have to first place yourself into a comfort zone and that will happen through you being on a leadership position here with the king of cup with the king of wants so you have to find your personal waters should i say that way you know your personal field the field where you are feeling most at home by and by maintaining your uh, positive attitude and of course this could happen only by you being into a, a very familiar environment you know uh, this card points that you have to kind of like uh, aim to improve your expectations but your expectations for the um for these undertakings that you know that you can pull through not for the ones that you have to struggle for all right what we said about the struggle struggle is a bad thing in this particular week here you have to uh, you have to improve what you already can do what you already are after what you uh you know already are confident that you can uh, accomplish and you need to place a higher challenges into that direction so you can expand your uh, capabilities and so you can you know expand your personal performance as well if you want to say it that way so pretty much uh, for you virgo this um this particular week 
for what it seems, just to summarize the reading here, is uh, regaining self-confidence. Uh, you know, that uh, you are on the right track or you will be on the right track. And that could happen by, uh, by you recognizing what you're good at and pushing into that direction. Um, then the next uh, <clears throat> portion of uh, this reading will be the Lenormand reading. And the Lenormand reading is going to show us an event that you should either look forward to or try to avoid. Okay, let me cut the cards now. So the first card here is the anchor. The anchor stands for longevity, hope, long lasting. Um, then we do or stabi and stability. Then we do have the rider. The rider sets for, uh, stands for a new beginning, news, and venture as well. And then the next one is going to be the star, and the star stands for a finding a way. What we said here, you are going to find your way and this is what's going to happen. And this way is going to be a brand new beginning in your life, a beginning of stability, of hope, of longevity. So this is the event. You are going to have your um, perception, you're going to have your insight, what you need to push forward with and push forward through. So that being said, Virgo, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for September 24th to September 30th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and I hope that you can make sense of it. Because again, this is a general reading for the Virgo star sign. This is not your personal reading. And I explained to you the, the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread. But it is but it falls to you guys to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, then uh, you have to go for a personal reading. And to do so, you have to check my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a, a full list of my services as well was their pricings. That being said, Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.